Hey buddies, Miss Puggy here coming after another Borderlands 3 video. Returning the Cartels event just came out and because of that everyone's farming the OPQ system and me myself included also started farming the OPQ system and after numerous attempts I did get my own. So I want to show you an OPQ flak build that deals crazy amounts of damage but doesn't focus on the gun, it focuses on the drone. So before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you have no idea how much it helps me out and let's get into it. So the OPQ system right off the bat is considered one of the best guns in the game. People are really excited that it came out again. It does really, really great at consecutive hits because the drones do proc that. It's a basic Atlas assault rifle that does shock damage on hits sometimes, but the alt fire when you shoot it summons one drone. And to optimize that, we are using the Infernal Wish. Now the Infernal Wish I have here is still level 65 because I haven't had a chance to farm new loot for that particular type of gear, but the level 65 is still fine. It has accurate skill and bonus incendiary damage. Now as those of you who don't know, the Infernal Wish basically just doubles the amount of damage you'll deal with any gun because every single time you shoot a projectile, it shoots an additional projectile. So it's really, really good, especially with our OPQ system because it basically just lets us summon two drones as opposed to just one. And since we're playing Flak, these drones can crit on themselves, so they do deal massive amounts of crit damage and you'll often see just crits flying off the enemy as you will with lots of megavore based builds with flak. I'm also using a action skill and bonus corrosive damage. Now the grenade that you have doesn't have to have this particular anointment. I just recommend any action skill and or maybe just a global throw bonus damage anointment. It doesn't matter which one but I already have the fire one so I decided just go, go corrosive because the shock right off the bat. So we have three elements. We got shock from the OPQ. We got fire from my shield and then we have corrosive from my grenade which is awesome to have no immunities affect us for the most part i did find this puppy level 72 bounty hunter it was kind of perfect for exactly what i wanted so i have five points into hunter's eye with, with this class mod and it has quite the good secondary stats 26 percent weapon crit 44 assault rifle damage and, and 14 atlas weapon damage it's absolutely crazy since we are trying to focus on the alt fire of this weapon we need to use an artifact that gives us negative magazine size now to accomplish that you basically just need to go into the arms race dlc now those guys do have a chance of dropping artifacts and you can find any particular artifact now it was recommended back in the day to get a death rattle artifact because those legendary had bonus effects but the death rattle artifact doesn't have a chance on dropping with magazine size anymore as far as i'm aware they they patched it so you can't do that so you got to find a random artifact so the one i have is a loaded death rattle level 21 with negative magazine size because it has a negative magazine size the one magazine size for the alt fire which it normally would be is converted into infinite ammo which is very very convenient to allow us to basically just constantly shoot our drones the drones do not shoot on their own unless you are pointing at the enemy which is very inconvenient overall it'd be really nice if they just did a 360 and just shot at whoever was around but you do got to aim at the enemy so you got to make sure that you are pointing at the enemies that you want to shoot at which can be beneficial if you are looking at a particular enemy that you want to kill and just because i don't think i explained it very well artifacts have a chance with secondary stats to drop magazine size when it's a low lower artifact and it spawns with magazine size for the secondary stat it is negative as opposed to positive so it allows you to basically get infinite ammo look up a guide if you're still confused on it or you can comment down below and i'll definitely help you understand besides that it does great amount of damage with mobbing and it does really really good damage against bossing with certain bosses i've had problems with grave ward where the guns will shoot beneath the floor and won't actually shoot the grave ward so there is a bit of weird clipping and weird hovering effects with the opq system drones so it's not a reliable thing to farm with the grave ward but it does deal good amounts of damage to those most notably it farms mobs very very easily and it can kill like basic humanoid enemies or any enemy that has like a normal platform that doesn't move around too much <laughs> if that makes sense and to optimize our boss damage we are of course using a guardian angel for those of you who don't know the guardian angel increases the amount of damage we deal based on distance which is not subjective to just weapon damage it's subjected to any type of damage so basically once we have all our, all our drones out there we just switch to the guardian angel and the guardian angel just amps up our damage to a crazy amount so allows us to kill the bosses quicker the anointment we have on our opq system is action skill and the next two magazines have 100 percent additional incendiary damage this allows you to just deal crazy amounts of damage because you are never going to be running out of your magazine size so basically you just go into fade away I do basic fade away where it's only three shots that are amped, but those three shots, those drones, 
will have infinite crits as long as they're alive so it's very very useful and then after that we have actual skill and next to magazines will have bonus incendiary damage so basically if you don't swap out of the weapon or switch to the different mode and run out of ammo twice you have infinite two times incendiary damage with your drones which is really really awesome i am using a spider ant scorcher just to deal the most amount of elemental damage just a generally good pet to have out there to just boost your dps it's a really really brain dead build all you got to do is basically just constantly shoot your drone i wish you could just hold down the shoot button but you do have to click manually or press the trigger button if you're playing on console to keep on throwing out the drones so you're just gonna have to get your finger all oiled up and just keep on going and since you're able to spawn infinite drones there's no reason why you shouldn't be constantly shooting it out so you just keep shooting it out and those drones just kill everything as said before since we're using fade away we do get those drones to deal constant crit damage and the drones that we spawn after fade away have the mega bore ability to crit as well the fade away of course does bonus crit damage so those drones do have a lot of impact with the fade away ability so it's very very useful as flak to have that particular ability this build could theoretically be used on any character but flak does the most amount of damage and he's like optimized for this particular build so i would recommend using him i do want to put credit where credit is due there was a reddit user by the name of carlo magnesium that posted this particular build two months prior to the event being released he was doing some experimenting and he found an incredible use for the infernal wish shield and basically premiered this build and i was simply stunned him on damage he wanted to do so of course i want to try it as soon as the event dropped so credit to carla magnesium he is a real g he makes all these crazy builds on reddit if you guys want to check it out and finally let's move on to the skill tree so the skill tree we want to do is going to be crit based so of course we go all the way down in the hunter tree hunter tree has a lot of abilities with kill skills and such that activate with our bounty hunter class mod that makes it very very useful to have these kill skills on as it is useful to have kill skills on with most flak builds it optimizes crit damage as you know with megavord being the capstone and galactic shadow and a bunch of other abilities here that do add more damage with two fang also adding a chance to spawn another drone which could be really really useful we go all the way down on the green tree the green tree does have some just bonus damage that activate with our action skill like the power inside or just general utility to help us stay alive or help us go back shrum fight for her life with the pet which can be very very useful and since we have seven new points to work towards i didn't really know what to do since the two skill trees i worked on were maxed out so i decided to do just some bonus damage with the persistent hunter this is kind of a dead skill the two are kind of like dead i didn't really want either of them so i was like why not just increase damage as opposed to just a gimmicky critical hit and then we have two points in the frenzy so just to recap we go all the way down in red all the way down in green and then just do our seven point dump into the blue tree try to optimize our damage as much as possible these are my guardian ranks this is my mayhem mode mayhem multipliers are used big kick energy to increase damage and post mortium the other two don't really matter too too much but big kick energy is very important to optimize your damage of course you could do mayhem 11 on this build as well if you like this build you should try my other flak build that optimizes in peregrine and light speed damage the peregrine has a nasty combination with light speed grenade that spawns it four times as opposed to just one and then we optimize it by using guardian angel so that builds very very fun it does one billion damage to the raid boss i definitely try that out if you want another build that does one billion damage i have an amara build that uses the revolter and death blessing to optimize the most into action skill damage with the face flare the anointment i use in that particular build just got buffed so that build is actually going to be dealing even more damage i was able to simply deal one billion damage to grave forge so that's kind of crazy that, that that got buffed so you could deal to like 2 billion right off the bat so that's really really cool if you want an infinite ammo build that doesn't use the death rattle try my mose green monster plus shredder fire the shredder fire himself doesn't deal that crazy amount of damage but with this particular setup the green monster allows the shredder fire to deal crazy amounts of damage millions of damage on point very very easily if you want a gimmicky type of build try my zane cold boar plus crossbow build it did 1.5 billion damage to the grave ward in one shot it's absolutely crazy one shot's basically everything as long as you have the right setup or the right situation in play so that builds really really fun but gimmicky lots of skill shots in that one 
and then finally if you want an, an afk build you can try my iron cup plus flare build this build does optimize in iron cup damage it does all the work for you it does millions upon millions of damage with the rail guns and the anointments i use in that particular build just got buffed so it's actually even better than it was before for you guys who enjoyed this build there is a save file down below that has the level 72 opq system and my level 72 bounty hunter class mod and with all the weapons included as well so if you want the save file the very link in the description and the comments as always and don't forget to like comment subscribe and i hope y'all have a great day <laughs> bye bye and the last shall be first to immerse in a pass out heat facing him up with a moxie melt till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Worn a cave with a torch on a wall then a window arrangement of porcelain doll